everyone, Sophia Angelica here. I just returned from Pattaya City, Thailand, performing for the International Conference on Family Planning with the Gates Foundation. And I wanted to do this vlog so that you all can see my journey throughout all of this. We went all the way from partying in Walking Street to checking into our suite on the beach to performing uh, at a big conference on a big stage. So we started out the trip in Bangkok, which I already did a vlog for that. But soon enough, we went to Pattaya City only like a day later and we were celebrating my mom's birthday that night. And we went to this amazing rooftop bar restaurant called Horizon and you can see the ocean even though it was a little dark. And then I took her to see this show called Tiffany's which is really big out there. And all of a sudden we went on an adventure to Walking Street which is basically like a really narrow street that has clubs on either side, restaurants, a lot going on, people performing, uh, music everywhere, and really getting to immerse ourselves in the culture there. We ended up finally getting to check into our suite the next day, uh, which was at the Royal Cliff Beach Hotel. And we walked into our suite and I'm pretty sure my eyes just like doubled in size. <laughs> it was just a dream suite. I wish I could live there every day. Yeah, we had breakfast every single morning. It was delicious. It was the biggest buffet I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I'm like, I get to eat this every day. <laughs> I love breakfast. Okay, so talking about the reason why I went to Thailand in the first place, the Gates Foundation invited me to go perform for the International Conference on Family Planning, which gets a bunch of world leaders together, gets a bunch of youth together to share ideas on you know, women's empowerment and reproductive rights and simply just human rights in general, because that's the way I see it. Before heading out there, they had us create a song, which Otuk and Trevor created. They are amazing artists. Trevor's from New York and Otuk is from Tanzania. Otuk wrote the song and I got to write a little Spanish part for it and record my part before heading over. So that was going to be the main theme song of the conference, which we got to perform in the closing ceremony with other amazing artists, uh, Lulu from Tanzania and Avanti from India. <laughs> Also within that conference, I got to perform at a red carpet celebration and I got to sing Here I Am. I also got interviewed on the ICFP network and we all got to talk about our own personal projects as well as what we're doing there in Thailand. I remember when I was doing a tour in Taiwan, I had a translator for when I had my speech. But when I was singing, I didn't have a translator. And it's funny because I had people come up to me at the end of the conference saying how much the music, how much the song touched them, how much that inspired them, and not the speech, which was like 40 minutes long and had a translator. <laughs> it, it's really incredible to see the impact that music has, especially when it comes to human rights, women's empowerment, anti-discrimination, because it's the one thing that brings people together, uh, no matter what language you speak, it's the one thing that everyone feels uh, in the same language. way. Exactly, universal language. But it was amazing to, to get to collaborate with so many talented artists from around the world. <laughs> also, at the very beginning, I got to perform Speak Up, with my friend Trevor, or Trev Momatic, which is a part of my album, which my album Angelica is coming out in February, so stay tuned. And while I was there for work, my mom and I got to do some really fun things. We got to really explore. We got to ride an elephant, first of all. Oh, I got to feed the elephant bananas. And he loved the bananas. He likes bananas! I don't know if I got any of that. <laughs> All I have to say is it was such a spiritual experience. I really love elephants. Uh, I never actually got to be so up close with one before. 
just something I'll remember forever. We spent a lot of time hanging out on the beach. Maybe not a lot, maybe like a couple days or like a few hours, but it was completely worth it. Beautiful because you see the mountains in the distance. We also got to visit Big Buddha, <laughs> which is this amazing temple. You know, it's a very spiritual place and it had this beautiful staircase leading up to the giant Buddha. And finally, we got to go to something called a floating market. So it's basically just a bunch of shops that are floating <laughs> on water. Overall, this was a very unexpected, crazy, amazing experience. And when I got back from Thailand, I found out that I won a Marvin Hamlish International Music Award under Contemporary Pop and presented by the amazing Clive Davis. I also have a new song coming in January and my album coming in February. So stay tuned on all my social media under at Sophia Angelica Music to know what's coming up. And you can keep listening and watching the music video of Remember That Day. Remember that day. But I'm just so excited sharing my experiences here with all of you and can't wait to show what's to come very soon.